A seven exclusive heroes in action captured on camera rushing to save a good Samaritan. It was last month when a food delivery driver was shot trying to break up a fight in Ann Arbor. First responders from a nearby station saw the victim bleeding and ran out to save his life. The heroics all caught on body cam. Seven Action News reporter Ruta Olsenida has it all for us tonight. This is the moment Ann Arbor police officers ran, not drove, from headquarters Sunday, March 24th to save a young man's life. That man was delivering mobile food orders near this party shop in Ann Arbor on West Dance Street and North Main. That's when he observed an altercation between a male and a female. That 23-year-old veteran then pulled over, got out of his car, and tried to de-escalate the situation. But the suspect, 33-year-old Joshua Dye, who was arraigned on Friday over Zoom, did not let up. Once the victim realized he was not going to be able to help with this altercation, he made his way back to his car, which is when he was followed by the suspect and was shot. Bloodied, he drove three blocks down the street, making his way to a Firestone parking lot, which just so happened to be right next to the police department. Hey, stay with me. Stay with me. Officers ran to the man, applying pressure to his wound, ultimately saving his life. Ann Arbor Police Chief Andre Anderson says he could not be more proud of his team. And that's the level of service that I think the community deserves, and it's certainly something that I see as a high standard for our police department. Chief Anderson visited the victim in the hospital after his multiple surgeries and asked him why he stepped in to help save that woman in the first place. You know, he told me that it was the right thing to do. Joshua Dye was taken into custody Thursday and is facing multiple weapons charges. His bond set at a million dollars. And according to Chief Anderson, the 23-year-old hero is now out of the hospital after this terrifying ordeal, doing better every day. I'm sure his, everyone he loves and cares about is really proud of him, and I'm glad the story ended up as a happy story with him surviving and saving a life. Sean McGowan lives near where this all happened and says he's happy police were there to help save a life. Glad that we live in a place where the police also do a lot of good. While his actions heroic, the Ann Arbor Police Department says if you see anything like this happening around you, make sure to just call police. In Ann Arbor, I'm Rudolph Snyder.